Hey guys, so today we will see how using SCP, which stands for Secure Copy Protocol, we can transfer files from a local computer to a remote server or from a remote server to a local computer. Okay, so for that we will open a local terminal. So this is the terminal of a local computer and let's connect to a remote server using PuTTY. So in this, uh, so our remote server's IP address is mapped to a domain. So in the host address, I will put a domain. And since a remote server is using SSH for authentication, so we need to load a private key to get connected to the remote server. So I will load a private key in it. And we will connect. And the username in my case is Ubuntu. So we got authenticated on a remote server. So now this is the terminal of remote server and this is the terminal of a of a local computer. Okay. So let's make a directory on on the remote server. Uh, let, let's make it mkdr vivek my name. Okay. Let's cd into the new folder and let's check what files are in this. So currently there are no files in this uh, directory. So let's transfer files from local to this server. So we have a file uh, test underscore file underscore one dot txt. So let's transfer this file to this Vivek folder using SCP. So to the command to do this is SCP space the from address like the address of the file which needs to be sent to the server. So in our case, the address is desktop and it's in that inside the test folder and the file name is test underscore file underscore one dot txt. Okay. And space and then the address of the remote server and the address of the remote server's format is username. In my case, it's Ubuntu at the rate uh, the IP address of the server. In our case, it's this domain which our IP is mapped to and colon and the address in which the files needs to be copied. In our case, it's Vivek folder. Okay. And we and enter. Okay. So it gave an error like permission denied public key lost connection. So we got this error because we haven't loaded the private key to authenticate to a remote server. Uh, in, in case if, if you log in to your server using a password, then it will prompt for a, to enter the password. But in our case, as we are using SSH to authenticate, we need to add private key to authenticate. So the command for that is SSH dash add and the path of a private key. In our case, it's desktop uh, slash and it's private key dot pem enter okay so we added this private key and now we can run the same command and enter so the file got transferred and you can cross verify your like by doing the ls and you can see the file got transferred from local to a remote server okay so what if we want to transfer multiple files all at once so for that we need to write command that is scp and uh, uh, if, suppose we need to uh, copy all the files inside the test folder to the remote server without copying the actual folder like only the files so the command for that is scp space and we can specify the address desktop slash test folder slash and instead of specifying the name of the files we can specify star so it will copy all the files from this folder into the remote server and the same thing ubuntu at the rate the ip address colon inside the big folder and enter so all three files got get got copied into this ubuntu server and we can ls and see like all the three files are copied and what if we want to send the whole folder into the remote server like copy the whole folder into the remote server so for that we can use the same command and uh, you know we can instead of slash star we can like directly give the name of test folder and enter 
okay so it given error like not a regular file because scb commands only copies the files from uh, local to uh, remote we cannot copy folder so to uh, to make it copy the whole folder we need to uh, define we need to put a extra command here like dash dash r so what this this does is this will recursively copy all the files from local to the server and now if we hit enter it will copy all the files along with the whole folder so you can cross verify here like ls and see the whole test folder got copied here so this is how you can copy files and folder from local to remote server now let's copy files from a remote server to a local server so to do that the command will be the same scp space now we need to specify the address the from address like from which address you need to copy so our uh, so since our form address will be a remote server's address so we will specify ubuntu username at the rate the ip space vivek slash the file which need to be copied so let's copy test underscore file underscore three dot txt and space and we need to specify the uh, folder in which the local path in which the file needs to be copied so let's skip it to desktop and we hit enter see so as you can see the test underscore file underscore three dot txt got copied from remote server to the local server so i think you have understood the how to copy files from local to server and from server to local so if you have any questions feel free to comment down in the comment box and i hope you like the video